Welcome to Damrosh Park at Lincoln Centre, home of Midsummer Night Swing, New York City's hottest outdoor dance party. Hey everyone, I am Lindsay Rodriguez and tonight we have the legendary Harlem Renaissance Orchestra to close out what has been an incredible Midsummer Night Swing 2012. Earlier on, I spoke to Bill Bragan, who's the Director of Public Programming here at Lincoln Centre and also the man behind this series, and he told me a little bit more about what Midsummer Night Swing is all about. Well, Midsummer Night Swing is a three week festival of live music to dancing, some of the world's greatest dance bands. Tonight we've got the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra playing classic big band swing. Last night we had a group from the northeast of Brazil. We've had Mexican cumbia, salsa, and mambo. We did a tribute to the Jacksons and Prince. So it's really about bringing New York City together to dance together to the best music we can find. Well, we actually hit the jackpot tonight with the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra. How do you feel about having them do the, the closing Midsummer Night Swing show? Well, they are a tradition. They have been playing the closing night for about eight years now. They're continuing the legacy of Illinois Jaquette, who uh, is one of the pioneers of big band and jump blues who passed away. His final performance was about a week before he passed on. And so uh, Carol Shurik, his widow, who's here today, has really designated Harlem Renaissance Orchestra as a group that can continue his tradition and really preserve the classic New York big band sound. So they've been doing the closing night and then a few years ago Frankie Manning who's one of the pioneers of Lindy Hop, he passed on just before his 95th birthday so we created the Ambassador Prize Lindy Hop contest in his memory. I was lucky enough to speak with Carol Sherrick, she's the wife of the late Illinois Jaquette, a legendary jazz leader to whom we pay tribute tonight and she told me all about why Midsummer Night Swing is so special and important to her. I think it's wonderful that they're keeping the spirit of Illinois Jaquette alive here at Midsummer Night Swing. That was his very favorite engagement. He got, went all around the world with his big band but this was his most favorite engagement and it turned out to be his final concert of his lifetime. And I spoke to the fabulous Lana Turner who will be judging the dance contest here tonight. She told me all about the dance lessons which are an integral part of any night right here at Midsummer Night Swing. The marvelous thing about the dance classes is that it gives you an opportunity as perhaps a non-dancer and someone who really wants to figure out what they can do on the floor that night, an opportunity to meet a partner. You know, you get into the class and the instructors will say, oh, change partners. And then suddenly you're with somebody you really don't know if you came in with someone. Or it gives you an opportunity to meet several partners while you're trying out all your new moves. And I think one of the most wonderful things is that if you're sufficiently pumped up, energized, and summarized, it will take you straight through the fall, into the winter, and into the spring, and gets you totally ready for the following year to get out here on this floor. As you can see, the party is in full swing, pun definitely intended. Now, Sammy and Juliet, they were just taking a lesson, guys. How are you feeling? I'm ready to swing. You ready to swing? Yeah.
to Paul. You know, Illinois always played from the heart when he played that saxophone, but he also wrote from the heart. This is a tune that he co-wrote with Jimmy Monday. It's entitled Black Velvet, Black Velvet. We'd like to now play a Buck Clayton arrangement of Dogging Around, Dogging Around.
dogging around. This next composition was written for the great Benny Moten, who was a Kansas City band leader whose style influenced a lot of the bands during the 1930s. This is Moten Swing, Moten Swing. out on piano.
Thank you very much. At this time, we'd like to bring out on the stage Ms. Tuluvu Donna Coverbatch. Tuluvu Donna Coverbatch. Good evening, everyone. Peace and love and blessings to all of you. We're going to do a tune that uh, was made famous by Frankie, <laughs> the one and only Frank Sinatra. Lady is a tramp. I don't like crap games with barons and girls. I go to Harlem and Urban and Pearls. Won't dish the dirt Ooh, with the mess of the girls. That's why the lady is a trap. I like the free. Thank you so much. That was a Ray Abrams arrangement. This next beautiful arrangement is by the late Illinois Jacket, who he did a tune that he did here many times. Don't blame me. Don't blame 
We thank you so much. The great Illinois jacket, have mercy. This tune, like the first one, was also written, the arrangement was written by the great Ray Abrams, one of our unsung heroes in this music. A beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago And this is the end Of a beautiful friendship I know For your eyes told me so We were always Like sister and brother Until tonight when we looked At each other 
was the end of a beautiful friendship and just the beginning of love. We thank you. This is Frank Foster's Blues in Frankie's Flag.
Thank you, thank you very much.
Fantastic to see such a packed dance floor for the closing night, honoring Illinois Jaquette and also honoring Frankie Manning as we have the Ambassador Prize Dance Contest. So I want to welcome our judges to the stage. First, Cynthia Millman. Cynthia Millman is the author of Frankie Manning, Ambassador of Lindy Hop. Of course, that's where we got the inspiration for the name of tonight's prize. So please welcome Cynthia Millman. We want to welcome the fabulous Lana Turner. Lana Turner is the resident Diane of Midsummer Night Swing and a wonderful friend and teacher to many people, many different things. Please welcome Lana Turner. We want to welcome Mercedes Ellington. Mercedes, a dance pioneer, renowned dancer, choreographer, teacher, and president and founder of the Duke Ellington Center named for her grandfather, Duke Ellington. Carol Sherrick, the widow of the great Illinois Jaquette to whom we're paying tribute tonight. And of course, our dance teacher and the woman who came to us and helps organize the Ambassador Prize Dance Contest every year, Margaret Batacek teaches at her own dance studio, dancemb.com. She gives private lessons. She's a Harvest Moon Ball champion. She's in the Swing Dance Hall of Fame. She's a president and co-founder of the New York Swing Dance Society and one of the people who's been really instrumental in bringing swing. The Harlem Renaissance City Orchestra has got everybody packing the dance floor and having a fabulous time. I saw these two having a brilliant yeah. evening. I've got Spiritus and I've also got Robin with me. How did you guys meet? Oh, today is, we first met today, dancing. The dance floor, yeah. So this is brilliant, you know, I was talking to Lana Turner earlier and she said that's one of the beauty, like the beautiful things about dance is that it brings people together and you, you meet new people and you meet a new partner. So was it like a 
with eyes locking across the dance floor situation? Yes, most definitely. And I said, would you like to dance? And she said, sure. And you make such a great team. So tell me, what do you love most about swing music and this event in general? Oh, it's a dynamic energy. It's, it's like being plugged into something uh, other than yourself. You know? And live music is just amazing. And you know, the, you feed off the band and the band feeds off the energy of the crowd. You know, and just, you know, moving with someone and, and having a good time and smiling. It's just... That is something that I noticed. There is not a single person on this dance floor that does not have a big grin on their face, and it's really it's quite a magical moment to, to see that. So, is this your first time at Midsummer Night Swing, or do you guys come every year? It's my first time. Uh, I've been coming for a while, at least ten years. Oh it's such an iconic New York event, the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra. How does their music make you guys feel? Oh, the music! It's like when you hear the music, you can't stand still. You just have to move. You got to go for it. You know? Yes, it's exciting. Very exciting. Well, are you guys going to enter the dance contest? Oh, not today. <laughs> not today, but you guys are so good. No, but you know, I just came into town today, so. Well, I was going to say, if you did enter, you've got my vote. Anyway, guys, have a brilliant night. Thank you so much for chatting to us. The dance contest is about to start, so make sure you stay tuned. It's very exciting. Midsummer Night Swing. Thank you. The judges are now deliberating on who is going through to the next round of the dance competition. It is very exciting and so many amazing candidates to pick from, so make sure you stay tuned to find out who takes out the grand prize right here at Midsummer Night Swing. We have the names of the finalists. Chad Mills and Michelle Tadmore. Yeah. Elaine Silver, Adam Lee. Yeah. Marika Jones, Samuel Coleman. Yeah. Sally Young, Rich Richard Kurtzer. Yeah. And Kat Hong and Rafael Kustelny. Uh, Is that how you say it? That close? All right, good. All right. So thank you, everybody. Those are our five finalists. So can they come out onto the floor?
I have got one of the best dancers of the night so far with me. And Moises, how are you? Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be with you now in this uh, gross event. You are so good. I see you with all of these beautiful young ladies on your arm. What's your secret? My secret is I always create the young and the beautiful. <laughs> well, all the girls are having a great time with you and I'm getting a little bit jealous, so I'd like to give you... I, buy, I, I don't discriminate, I dance with everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, you're the most popular person here, but I want to have the chance to dance with you, so will you show me a few steps? Okay. I can see why all the ladies love you. You are a charmer, my friend. Thank you so much. Tomorrow I have the tango in Union Square from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Free tango in the park. There you go. A shameless plug. I love it. Yeah, I have 10 years experience now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's check out the dance contest. It's in full swing. Thank you. Okay, so can the couples line up, the five couples? And then can uh, you go over and tap one couple on the head, like on starting with that side, the right side? Couple number one. <laughs> stay over by them, stay over by them. Okay. Couple number two. <laughs> Couple number three. Couple number four. Couple number five. Okay, we're gonna ha we're gonna uh, call couples one, two, and four out to see who uh, gets the louder applause. So, could you go over to couple one, please, and hold your hand over his head, over their heads? Thank you. That's couple number one. Couple number one, if you like couple number one. Okay. Here we go, couple number two. Okay, and couple number four. Okay, we're gonna redo one and two. Number two first. And couple number one. Well, I guess we have our winner. 
Okay, so the third place is couple number four. Second place is couple number two. And the first place is couple number one. Damrush Park at the Lincoln Centre. Midsummer Night Swing is in full swing. Everyone is having the most amazing time. The dance contest just finished and my goodness, everyone there was so talented. I don't know how the judges managed to pick a winner, right, but they did. There were a bunch of couples on that dance floor and we're lucky enough to have the winners standing with us right now. Introducing the winners, Sam and Marika. How are you guys? We're cool. Hot. You guys just became sort of overnight celebrities. I just saw everyone hugging you as you walked through the crowd. How are you feeling after your win? I, I'm really speechless. Um, totally unexpected. I just asked Marika like yesterday to, to be my partner and it was really a, a, a leap of faith for both of us because we never um, entered a contest before, so. Exactly, this one is like our first contest. That's incredible, so the first contest you enter, you win it. That is brilliant. What is it about swing music and swing dancing that you guys love the most? I definitely love how old it is, considering I'm kind of, I'm like, I'm one of the younger people here. I, I, I just turned 20 and it's an amazing dance. The the, the musicality, the, the connecting with the partner, it's something you don't see often and it should be spreading. It really should. Um, to me, it's, it's, it's something is American as apple pie and it's, 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 it's a, a, a something proud to, 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 to be American and for this music to be, um, for this land to be the birthplace of this music and, and the dance that's spread throughout the world now. And um, it, it's, it's an awesome dance. Um, just as Marika said, you know, the partnership, um, the artistry, the improvisation um, is, is, is a happy dance. It's a happy dance. It is. Everyone, everyone is smiling. I'm smiling. I'm so happy for you both. I'm going to let you go and just bask in your newfound celebrity. And I very much look forward to seeing you dancing up on that stage at the end of the night. So, guys, enjoy it. Have a brilliant time. And congratulations. Okay, thank you okay, so thank much. You so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we have a brilliant highlight reel to, so you can check out what's been going on for the first half of the night. Let's check it out now.
fabulous night here in New York City at Lincoln Center, Midsummer Night Swing. We've had the dance contest, Sam and Marika. I'm still just very emotional for them because even as Marika was like filling out her phone, she's like, I just can't believe this is happening to me. They're amazing. They're going to take the stage later in the night. Right now, we are gearing up for the second set for the amazing Harlem Renaissance Orchestra. I hope you guys are having a fabulous evening. Keep watching. And we invite you to all join Margaret Batajic. You learned it earlier tonight. It's time for the Shim Sham. We did that earlier in class. I hope everybody remembers it. And it's in honor of Frankie. I had asked Frankie at the Swing Society if he would lead the Shim Sham each week. And we did it. We started a tradition that he took all over the world. And people do it at every dance, every dance weekend as a group. So here we go with the Shim Sham. Go. <laughs> One more time.
is Perdido, Perdido.
John Simon, John Simon. Perdido, that was Julian Presley conducting over there, a lead alto saxophone. Now we'd like to do, once again, something that Frankie Manning loved, one of his favorite tunes he liked to hear with the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra, done by the late, great Frank Foster. Once again, is Shiny Stocking, Shiny Stocking.
James Smith on the muted trumpet. James Smith. Shiny stockings. We'd like to continue with another tune and composition and arrangement done by the late great Frank Foster. This is four, five, six. Mark McGowan.
Rick Henley. Turn the saxophone, G G.
Thank you, thank you. We're going to do one more that Frank arranged, but this was by, done by Billy Strayhorn. This is Take the A Train. Frank Foster arranged. McGowan.
Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Frank Foster's arrangement. Thank you. And right now, we'd like to bring back on the stage Ms. Tuluvu, Donna Cumberbatch. Donna Cumberbatch. Thank you so much. trumpet. We thank you so much. This is Speak Low. Swept apart too soon. Speak low, darling. Speak low. Love is a spark lost in the dark. Too soon, too soon. I feel wherever I go that 
tomorrow is near, tomorrow is here, and always too soon. Time is so old and love so brief. Love is pure gold and time a thief. Everything is too soon, too soon. I wait, darling, I wait. Will you speak low to me? Speak low and soon. I'm sure you all know this one, all of me.
Unbelievable, Donna Cumberbatch, Donna Cumberbatch. This is another tune that was taken from the Illinois repertoire, the Illinois Jacket repertoire. This is smart. John Simon.
thank you very much. John Simon, John Simon. Ambassador Prize Dance Contest winners, Marika Jones from the Jitterbug Kids. Tonight was her first night dancing out here at Midsummer Night Swing. Among all the prizes, they have season passes. Sammy Coleman, congratulations one more time for the band, Ron Allen, Harlem Renaissance Orchestra. 
Tribute to Illinois, Jaquette, Frankie Manning. It's been a fantastic season here at Midsummer Night Swing. We want to let you know Harlem Renaissance Orchestra will be ringing in the new year at Jazz and Lincoln Center. It goes on sale on the 23rd, live music, open bar, party favors. It goes on sale the 23rd. Check out JALC.org for tickets. We welcome you back starting on July 25th, Lincoln Center Out of Doors, free shows for three weeks, including Nile Rogers and Chic. The Stooges Brass Band, Val Simpson. We want to thank all the staff, all the crew. Carlos Masonet, our stage manager. It's our, his last night with us tonight. Let's give it up for Carlos. His next gig's on Broadway. We're very proud of him. We thank you all for coming. This webcast will be online in about a week, so check out midsummernightswing.org. Thank you for a fantastic season. Good night. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely amazing night it's been here at Damrosh Park at Lincoln Center for the finale of Midsummer Night Swing 2012. We've had incredible performances from the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra, moving tributes to Frankie Manning and Illinois Jacquette. And of course, an incredible dance competition which saw our winners, Eric Marika and Sam, take out the grand prize and finish the night up on stage. It's been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been an absolute honor to be such a part of an incredible, iconic New York event. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait for next year. So keep dancing. I'm Lindsay Rodriguez, and we'll see you next time for Midsummer Night Swing. John Simon, John Simon. <laughs>